Oklahoma City police need our help finding a suspect in a quadruple shooting. Police say the man opened fire into a crowd in Bricktown on August 18th, injuring four people. They released these pictures of the shooting suspect and also they released pictures of the getaway driver. News Nice Deanne Stein is live at police headquarters with how you can help. Deanne. That's right, Carl, Amanda, investigators not only released photographs of the suspect, but also the getaway car, as you mentioned, and also his alleged accomplice behind the wheel. They're hoping somebody will recognize them. We're looking for the piece of information that will break the case for us. Master Sergeant Gary Knight says investigators hope that information will come from these photos, capturing the suspect just before he got away. We know the car that's involved from the photo, a good look at it. A silver sedan. Police say cameras caught the driver, a woman, who police also want to identify. We believe that lots of people have cell phone video of it, and we would sure like to see that. Investigators say a fight broke out just before 2 a.m. in Bricktown on Sunday, August 18th, when the suspect pulled out a pistol and started shooting. Four people were hit, two men and two women. All are expected to be okay. Obviously, with that many people there, uh, that could have turned into a very tragic situation. Police say two officers in the area chased the suspect and both fired their guns. Now investigators are relying on the crowd to help them identify the suspect or the driver. And oftentimes somebody has that information, but they either don't think it's important or they choose for whatever reason not to call. But we want to hear from anybody with information, anybody with evidence such as video footage or photos. Now, if you do have videos on your phone or photographs or any information about this case, police are asking you to call Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen. Live at Police Headquarters, Deanne Stein, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. Hopefully they'll get some and it'll help. Deanne, thank you. By the way, the officers who fired their guns remain on routine administrative leave during the investigation.